Sorry. We have a lovely pit bull, in a motorcycle shop, and our lovely pit bull, every time a bike starts, we, I push a bike around, wants to attack it. I can't get him to stop. There's our lovely pit bull. He's nice and mellow. So watch what happens when I start a motorcycle. And he chokes himself to, to the point he passes out. I can't get him to stop. I'm at my wit's end. It's either help me or I got to get rid of the dog because he's about ready to attack us. There he goes. I didn't even start his bike. driving down the road, he tries to attack a bike in the car. I'm, I, I think he's gonna attack us. He, he's just out of control. He's, he's choked himself to the point he passes out. He just won't stop. Please help us. You know, so uh, help us Caesar. I gotta get rid of the dog. You know, this, this is a beautiful dog. Really smart, and I cannot get him to stop him. I've never, been out, I've never had a dog I couldn't train before. This one won't, just will not stop. So help us. Uh, I, I've got nowhere else to turn. So We're hopefully we'll hear back from you. Meat. And uh, if you can do it, I, I don't know where else to go. So I've never had a dog I couldn't train before. This this one's it. He just won't listen. Let me put the helmet on. All right. Don't put the helmet. You didn't. So yeah, even if I put like a helmet on to go for a motorcycle ride, he he, he goes ballistic. If I try to push a bike around, he goes ballistic. He sees a bike on the road. He goes ballistic. So it's not like I can hop on a bicycle and take him for an exercise ride, you know, in the morning and get, get his energy out. He's a three-year-old pit bull. I'm limping. I'm 50 years old and I can barely walk. This is, this is walking fast for me. So I can't exercise him in the morning that you recommend to get his, his mouth. So either he's pulling at the leash in the morning or to, well, I have him walk next to me. He's choking himself and passing out. Uh, I don't know what to do with him, so help us. Thank you.